Hey there, and welcome to another episode of DIY Projects with Pete. This is part two of the Patio Concrete Coffee Table Build, and in this video, we'll walk through the process of building the base for the concrete top. For more information and links to the plans, head over to DIYPete.com forward slash Patio Concrete Coffee Table. Let's get started. The first step is to cut the four legs for the coffee table. A miter saw works great for this process, but a circular saw will work with a couple passes if you don't have one. Cut the rest of the 2x4s as shown in the cut list at this time, or feel free to modify this table size as needed to best fit your space. Once the boards have been cut, we'll begin assembling the top stretchers to the 4x4s. I'll assemble it upside down on a flat surface to help make everything square and level. Use a pocket hole jig to create two holes on the ends of each 2x4 board, and then we'll use a combination of 2.5 inch pocket hole screws and wood glue to create the joint. Now if you're into more advanced joinery techniques, go ahead and use them by all means. Uh, before connecting the boards, do a quick sanding to remove any rough edges, then apply wood glue to the end of the boards. Next, align the stretchers to the 4x4s. I set the 2x4s in from the outside of the legs a quarter of an inch to give the piece just a little bit more dimension. Use 2.5 inch pocket screws to tie the boards together. Work around the perimeter until all four of the stretchers are attached. Take your time with this process to make sure all the boards are square and level. Next, we'll add two additional boards in the center to give the base extra support and to help distribute the weight of the concrete. Space them evenly apart from each other and then connect using screws and glue. Now we'll move on to attaching the lower boards. I used a clamp to act as a second pair of hands to help hold one end of the board and then fasten the other side to the 4x4. You can see I spaced it a quarter of an inch in from what is actually the bottom of the leg. Work around the table base and attach all of the boards. Then attach one center board for additional support for the entire table as well as for the lower cedar shelves. We'll use cedar fence pickets to create the lower shelves. Cut each board to size and then test fit them to see how they'll look. We'll notch out each end board to fit around the legs. Clamp the picket and then use a jigsaw to cut each of the notches. You'll cut two notches in each outer board. Then continue to add each picket in place to form the shelf. I had to rip the two inner boards down just a bit to make them fit. You'll want to leave about a quarter inch gap between each board for drainage. Attach the shelf boards by pre-drilling and using wood screws. I attached each picket using a total of six screws. Two going into each of the outside 2x4 supports and two screws going into the center 2x4 support. Then flip the table upside down so we can get ready to add the wheels. Next we'll add three inch locking caster wheels to the bottom of each 4x4 leg to make it easy to move that table around your patio. Pre-drill and then use three and a half inch wood screws through each hole on the plate. I used small washers to keep the smaller screw head from going through the big plate holes. You may need to slightly angle the screws in since the plate holes may be near the edges of those 4x4s and continue around the base until all four wheels are attached. Flip the table base right side up and do a quick sanding to remove rough edges and to smooth out the boards. The cedar pickets had a pretty rough finish so I sanded them for a few minutes to make them nice and smooth. Then add a finish of your choice. I used an espresso colored stain to contrast with the concrete and then followed up with an outdoor polyurethane for extra UV and water protection. Next, you can add the concrete top to the base, run a bead of silicone around the top of the wood base, then center the concrete and put it in place. You can then add optional LED lights by attaching them in the channel between the concrete and the wood with heavy duty Velcro or mounting tape. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Then check out part one of this series on how to build a concrete coffee table to see how to create the concrete top. Or check out the Patio Projects playlist for more DIY inspiration. Best of luck on all your upcoming projects and cheers from Montana.